They've been telling you for more than a year that obscure Russian Facebook ads were a deadly threat to our democracy. Actual events, though, have revealed our own political and financial elites are at least as committed to undermining democracy as that dastardly villain Vladimir Putin, darn him. Italy, for example, has had a big election. You may have read about it. The big winners were two populist Eurosceptic parties. They plan to form a government, but they can't. Why? Because Italy's ceremonial president blocked them. He did that because the coalition's pick for finance minister was, quote, alarming to markets and investors. So instead, the president is demanding a new election. In other words, Italians are literally being told to just vote again and keep voting until they pick a party that global capitalism and European elites like more. The Washington Post tells us that democracy dies in darkness. That's not true. It's actually dying right before our eyes in direct sunlight. And guess who doesn't care at all? The Washington Post or anyone else. We care, though.